Hello and welcome back. So today we are looking at another coin that's been sent to me from Hattons of London. They very kindly in the past have sent me a 1 8 sovereign and this is the brand new 1 8 sovereign new to their range which I'm really excited to get into. For the sake of transparency they have sent this coin to me for free in lieu of the fact that I'll be reviewing the video making a uh, reviewing the coin and making a video about it I mean um, and if you're interested there's a link down in the description uh, you can click that and there'll also be a little DLD end ca uh, card as well you can click on throughout the video uh, so be sure to go and, over and take a look if you want to uh, but I, I have been offered a bit of a kickback in terms of sales generated from the video um, but uh, and don't feel obliged to purchase it just because I've got one uh, but I'm really excited to get into this because the last one we had was absolutely superb so without further ado let's get into this box <laughs> so worth mentioning this is how it arrives to everyone not just to me so if you purchase it this is exactly what you will receive we can get this out so it's another fractional gold coin. It is celebrating the 95th birthday of Queen Elizabeth II. Interestingly, uh, because the Queen has two birthdays, because I remember all the for all about the 95th birthday five pound coin coming out, and then I was seeing news about the Queen's birthday is the 13th of June, one day after mine. Um, and I was like, well, I wonder why this is. Why has she got two birthdays? And I, I knew in the back of my mind that she has two birthdays, but it was interesting to know why. Um, it just turns out that April isn't a good month for celebrating, given the weather. So uh, she has a second birthday in June, so that we can all get out and celebrate her birthday in the sunshine. And hopefully by this June, we'll all be able to get out and celebrate it. So we've got a book. We've got a little stiff authenticity. We'll have a, we'll have a look back at these um, in a moment. The coin itself is there, and we've just got a little letter thanking us for our order. Oh look. King who never wear a crown, George, uh, George the Edward the Eighth, isn't it? Yes, I've seen these coins, because I don't think he's actually pictured on a coin, or wasn't ever pictured on a coin ever. Um, but there's a couple of coins where he appears, well, the name, his name appears once he was um, monarch. But no, very interesting. Uh, returns envelope. Some information about other products that they offer. Standard sort of stuff that comes along with these kind of things. And we've got a couple of little booklets here. Um, we'll get into the coin in a moment, but let's just quickly have a little gl glance at this. A lovely, uh, bright, colourful booklet. And the last one we got uh, also contained a really fascinating book all about sovereigns. So um, I'm excited to see what information we've got to have a peruse of in here. We're not going to go through every single page. Obviously, the Queen, being the monarch for so long, has uh, met and um, hosted numerous impressive people throughout history. JFK, obviously. This is a young Queen Elizabeth, time serving in the war. And some lovely pictures here. A queen and the, and the late Prince Philip. Look at that, amazing stuff, isn't it? And I'm sure, much like the previous book, this is going to be absolutely filled with history uh, charting her 95 year life. Oh, I remember this. Queen, <laughs> it was Queen and a whole bunch of other bands. I think it was um, put a, have a part of a concert celebrating one of her birthdays. What, what is this from? Oh, the Golden Jubilee. And yeah, it was projected onto Buckingham Palace, wasn't it? And I remember, wasn't it was it the Olympic opening ceremony or the Diamond Jubilee where there was? I'm sure there was like madness that was uh, projected. Uh, our house was projected onto um, Buckingham Palace, which was. A very very cool kind of thing. Oh, we all remember the Olympic opening ceremony as well. That little mock-up of um, James Bond and the Queen parachuting into the Olympic uh, what, the Olympic Park, isn't it? That's what it was called. But no, superb, and I'm sure definitely worth a perusal and further reading and investigation. But we've teased it long enough. Let's get into the coin. So again, comes in this cool little packaging here. We're all all nicely gift wrapped. Come on, Chris, it's only tissue paper. <laughs> now, the last one that I got, the um, it was a reimagining of the Sovereign design. Um, it was so cool because it is an itty ditty little little coin, but so much detail that I had to um, I had to get my camera on my phone out to get a bit more in depth uh, view of it. And I might have to do that again on this one. So, but I'm extremely excited to see the coin itself. There we go, Hattons of London. There's the logo, and here we have the coin. As you can see, it is a diddy little coin. It's a 1 8th sovereign, solid gold. Sort of a fractional uh, precious metal piece. Reasonably priced if you ask me as well. 
um, if I recall, £69, which isn't bad for sort of an entry level into sort of these precious metal coins. It was the first bit of gold I've ever added to my collection, and this is another second. Uh, so I'm a, a very, very much uh, thankful and grateful to Athens of London for asking me to do this video. But there we go. It is supposedly a reimagining of Una and the Lion, features, featuring obviously Queen Elizabeth II. Now this is this camera is not doing it justice in terms of design. So in a moment we're going to flip over to a bit better, a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit of a better butter, <laughs> a bit of a better view of the coin itself. But no, it's striking. It's amazing how intricate and cool the detail is on a coin of this size. Because um, that's got to be smaller than a five pence piece but it is absolutely wonderful before we get into the a, a little uh, closer view we'll have a look at the previous one which is the uh, George and the Dragon reimagining of the sovereign design it's so so lovely isn't it but no wonderful stuff it's a limited mintage as well both of these coins were limited mintages and it's there's a sellout guarantee so at the end of the the period that these are available for um, I, I will have to check through the, the documents on, on the Queen, Queen's 95th birthday, but uh, if it reaches the sellout time um, and isn't sold out, they'll melt down all the ones that are left over. So the mintage will only be lower than what's originally um, advertised for. And ad interestingly, this came separately, which is just for the this is for the as the George and the Dragon 200th anniversary of the Gold Sovereign one eighth. This is the one eighth Sovereign that we that was sent earlier, the one we just had a look at. Um, just said to find that all 4,999 were completely sold out, which I think is a nice, a, a nice little touch. To be fair, not something that I had expected or was told was going to happen, uh, but no, a very cool little um, uh, sort of follow-up on it, I guess. And I, I would imagine if it got to the point where um, they melted it down, we would know exactly how much, how many of them were sold, which I think is really cool. And for it to sell out like that just shows that they're popular, which I think is great. Right then, should we have a bit of a closer inspection on this beautiful coin? Well, here we go, back to the old school, using the phone to record. It just, I just seem to be able to get a little bit more detail on the coin. In, in sort of um, a bit more of a zoom. Oh, I can't even find my finger, I've got a little hair on it. I have recently had a haircut, so I am still shedding loose hair, so <laughs> apologies, but let me just try and get the hair off. There we go. See, it's me and not the coin, don't you worry. But isn't that just absolutely stunning? There is so much detail on that coin. And it's so cool that I can show you this detail using my camera. We flip it over. There's the obverse. It's it's a really, really nice portrait of the Queen as well. Issued by Alderney, obviously one of the Channel Islands, 2021 issuing. I'm trying to keep it as steady as I can, but this zoomed in is proving a little bit tricky because I don't have the steadiest of hands at the best of time. But there we go. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. You know what, let's grab the other one as well. So we'll I'll just have a side-by-side -side comparison. We normally do that with coins. Where is it? There it is. How lovely are they? I think they're both stunning. Obviously this one on the right is now sold out. And this is the latest venture. They are available in larger denominations as well of sovereigns, all the way up to the full sovereign. For those of you with deeper pockets. But I think this is a really cool First instruction, just showing how dirty my towel is as well. Goodness gracious. You won't be zooming me in on things this this often. But no, a very, very lovely coin. We're gonna have a look at these little booklets that come along with it too. So this is, I believe, a booklet that's all about the Hattons of London. And I think it goes on to explain the so what's the sellout guarantee, what that means. Like I said, basically the long short of it, I don't I can't remember where the date if it says the date in here. But yeah, once it gets to a certain date, I believe it's end, middle to end of July. Uh, once it gets to that point, any that are left over will be melted down. It might show it actually in this one here. This is the booklet about the coin itself. So we get a bit of more of a, an idea of the design there. So here we have... Oh, who is the designer then? Do we know? So Jodie Clark's is the obverse, the reverse side-by-side -side portraits of Queen Elizabeth II and, a, and the British Lion with the legend May God Direct My Steps. Oh, that's interesting. Same with authenticity. Limited mintage. So yeah, 5,999 will be 
available to be purchased and from the 31st of July 2021 whatever's left in the stock gets melted down so it'll only ever be a mintage lower than that obviously they all sell out before the, min the meltdown date um, it'll have that as a maximum mintage but it could be lower which I think is a really cool sort of um, way of rewarding the sort of early adopters and people jumping um, on the product early but no very interesting stuff there we go it's amazing to see this all zoomed out and seeing how small it really is for comparison there is my little finger but no I think it's a lovely coin um, to me it's always but buying coins to me has always been about the designs of the coins that's what interests me the most not the metal content um, it, it's the designs that I love and I think this is a really really cool design um, and a very special coin uh, marking um, our monarch's 95th birthday which is lovely um, obviously going through some troubling times at the moment and the nation's hearts go out to her in this um, tricky time for her but no it's a beautiful coin and uh, like I said if you're interested and you want to support the channel be sure to click that link down in the description just to go over and have a perusal of this coin and the the rest of the set that the coin comes with because um, no it's very cool and like I said it's a neat sort of entry point um, into sort of these precious metal coins and I think these fractional um, coins are a real real opportunity for people that maybe don't have as much money to blow on a full sovereign coin to sort of get a little eighth ounce is it an eight? they want the little eighth of a sovereign but no there we go I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments what you think of the coin um, again I, like I said it's a very little neat uh, coin and I think they are superb there's a very interesting um, piece of my collection I guess these sort of tiny little fractional precious metal coins but I know it's not for everyone not everyone is interested in the precious metal coins but um, I'm just I'm very grateful for having been asked to make another video on these uh, the people at Hassans of London have proved to be very very kind and generous people and very thankful that they have deemed me worthy to to um, present to you their coin but there we go well um, I'd be interested to know down in the comments what you're thinking of the coin I'm always interested to know let me know which is your favorite out of the two so far it's hard for me to pick I like them both in for very different reasons but um, as ever all that leads me to now is thank you so much for watching I hope that you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins bye